بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر موونگ اہیڈ ود آر کارپوریٹ گورننس ماڈیول اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئن ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کانٹیکسٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دیٹ از فائنل فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ اٹ فارمز اے ویری بیک بون اینڈ دا ویری بیسز دا ویری فاؤنڈیشن دا ویری پلرز آف کارپوریٹ گورننس بیکاز اٹ از بیسڈ اپان فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ دیٹ انٹرنل اینڈ ایکسٹرنل اسٹیک ہولڈرز گیٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی Uh, basic components of a particular corporation and again the fundamentals and building upon it how is it that the corporate governance mechanism is implemented throughout the organization another aspect of the financial reporting is is that uh, the financial report uh, tends to disclose the audited report which again is done by a third party and in that what we see is is that it is Uh, a independent audit of the organization's financial and accounting mechanisms and again tends to give everyone a clear perspective of the financial standing of a particular organization. So therefore, financial reporting is extremely important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we are looking at financial reporting, then the existence of a good financial reporting system is essential for providing financial information about the company to its shareholders and other stakeholders. financial reporting system that incorporates sound accounting principles and reflects a true and fair view of the financial health of the company so based upon the financial reports which are generated by the company published by the company and also overseen by the securities exchange commission of pakistan formulated by the third party audit the shareholder and the stakeholders are able to take future decisions should they invest should they divest should they should they tend to realign themselves recalibrate themselves or should they expand should they minimize their services or products should they come out with new products or services so all of these decisions are taken based upon the financial reporting uh, which is provided to all the stakeholders and shareholders disclosure of all material matters concerning the organization's performance and activities should be timely and accurate so there are two things one the accuracy of all the information being provided and that basically is substantiated by the third party audit and secondly also the chairman's report which the chairman is signing off with the ceo and thirdly what we see is it should be timely so that timely decisions can take place it should also clarify and make public the role and responsibilities of the board and the management to provide the shareholders with accountability so the shareholders should have that confidence that the board of directors and the chairman are independent that the internal audit mechanism and auditors are independent and they are independently reporting to the board of directors and the third party auditor is completely non discriminate and of the highest integrity because they are endorsing all the financials and accounts of that particular organization and that is extremely important and also reflected in the uh, in the report which is being uh, published for everyone now when we look at the internal stakeholders then uh, what is communicated to these stakeholders are the financial statements policies and procedures hierarchy of responsibility meetings direct communication and budget so to the internal stakeholders all of this information is being provided and uh, through this information again it can add value or it can deplete the confidence of those stakeholders now when we looking at it externally then we talking about annual reports press releases promotional campaigns social activities advertisements and again public doc- documents for example the prospectus so all of these should be available and communicated to the external stakeholders in any good governance organization now according to the oecd the organization of economic cooperation and development there are certain principles and one of them is about disclosure which should include the financial and operating results of the company the company objectives and major share ownership and voting rights so all of these are encapsulated by the disclosure clause the remuneration policies uh, for members of the board and key executives and information about board members including their qualifications the selection process other company directorships and whether they are regarded as independent by the board so again all of this also has to be disclosed so that decision makers and stakeholders can make their timely decisions the disclosure should also include related party transactions foreseeable risk factors issues regarding employees and other stakeholders so all of these three 
are extremely important in the disclosure uh, paragraph. Uh, governance structures and policies, in particular the content on any corporate governance code or policy and the process by which it is implemented are all extremely important in the context of the OECD principles and lead towards a holistic corporate governance model uh, emerging. Uh, information should be prepared and disclosed in accordance with the high quality standards of accounting and financial and non-financial disclosure. An annual audit should be conducted by an independent, competent and qualified auditor, just like I was mentioning earlier on that the third party independent uh, integrity focused auditor is a very important component of the financial report uh, which is being developed. Uh, now when we uh, look at the external auditors, uh, they should be accountable to the shareholders and owe a duty to the company to exercise due professional care in the conduct of the audit channels for disseminating information should provide for equal, timely and cost efficient access to relevant information by the user. So this is extremely uh, important. Now, so in the end, if we want to sum up the impact of the financial reporting and corporate governance, the corporate governance framework should ensure that timely and accurate disclosure is made on all material matters regarding the corporation, including the financial situation, the performance, ownership and governance of the company. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the financial reporting component or the financial report in corporate governance is the very backbone, the very existence and the essence of corporate governance because it caters to the needs of the external and internal stakeholders, ensures that there is open communication and most importantly, it enables the shareholders and the stakeholders to take timely and efficient decisions which would have an impact on the future of the organization. Thank you so much.